A while back, someone asked me how I made my spinach and eggs in the morning. You know, I often talk about how I love spinach and almost everything. It's my favorite vegetable. I probably eat too much of it, if that's even possible. But, so I thought I'd give a little cooking demonstration, keeping in mind I'm no cook, I'm no expert, but if you are interested in how I incorporate vegetables into foods that um, sometimes maybe you wouldn't think about, this is how I do it. First, just take the eggs. I'm making enough for me and my husband. My husband is taking my daughter to school right now. So I'm gonna do two eggs. And we do two full eggs and then two egg whites. That's just totally up to you. It's nothing that I have against the yolk. I'm just making little cuts where I can. And that's a way that I can cut some calories and fat without cutting the content of the protein. So there we go. I think I do about two eggs and then two or three egg whites. Get that. I use cheese. We love cheese. We buy in bulk. I just take a little sprinkling, not a whole lot. Put it in with my eggs. Can y'all even see my eggs? They're just in a little mixing cup. And then I take the spinach. I get handfuls and I just rip it apart and I'm literally just putting it on top of the egg mixture in the measuring cup. And I'm gonna grab a fork. There are no fancy utensils in this kitchen, I can promise you. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna spray the pan in the pan. And mix it good, mix it good, pour it in there. And literally, ladies, that is it. I'm gonna get a little bit of sea salt. And we like ground pepper. And that's it. And while the eggs are cooking, I'm gonna show you something else that I absolutely love. These flat out flatbreads. They look like this. So they're perfect little like tortilla wraps or if you like to make pizzas, it's a great pizza crust or a great wrap. But it's made by flat out. And the reason I love them is they're only 100 calories. They are eight grams of fiber and very low in sugar and carb content. And they taste good. That's the important part, right? They taste good. But anyway, today for lunch, I'm gonna have a flat out with none other than some spinach and some leftover salmon from earlier in the week. My little guilty pleasure is mayonnaise. I know a lot of people don't like it. You think it's gross. I love mayonnaise. I could actually eat it by the spoonful. I know, I'm sorry. Um, I use the Fit and Active from Aldi. It's just a light mayonnaise. Again, no sugar in it. And it cuts the fat. And I don't get a whole lot. See, just a little bit of mayonnaise. Let me show you. Turn the camera down, move over spinach. I just spread a little bit of that mayonnaise on my wrap. Get my favorite spinach, pile it on there. Get my salmon, here comes the salmon. Yes, my hands are clean. I'm gonna break it up and I'm gonna wrap it. And there I have me a nice, nutritious, healthy lunch. I'm trying to get in a lot of fiber. I'm trying not to get in a lot of sugar. You're kind of getting a little taste of my food plan here. I really don't have a very structured plan. I know I haven't shared a lot with you about that, but um, pretty much I'm just trying to make wise choices from meal to meal. I do have a plan as the day goes on, but um, I try not to put too much of my mind into it because I tend to get obsessed. So anyway, another thing I'm going to take for lunch or snack, this is going to look like throw up, but I promise it's not, peppers. Green, yellow, and red peppers. Very cheap at Aldi if you um, have an Aldi in your area. But um, I just mix all those up. I'll throw them either on the stove and heat them or even put them in the microwave. I might even add them to my salmon wrap later. But I um, just wanted to share that with you. I know that's not the most... Um, glamorous cooking demonstration you've ever seen, but that's kind of how I roll. I guess you know that by now. 
Hope you guys have a great day. My eggs are looking good. They're just about done. And um, hey, I'll show you the finished product in just a few minutes. Bye. Well, actually for you, it'll be like one second because it'll be the next video clip.